it's Monday, the 3rd of January 2022. This is the Travel Chuck Shinies. Winter on the Yorkshire coastline. Roll the titles. Travel Jack Strinney's winter on the Yorkshire coastline. The plan is today is to go and have a look at the Yorkshire coastline that runs between Hull and Scarborough. Now I'm currently around the Gold Docks area, I'm just walking to Gold Station actually. It takes me about 15 20 minutes. So I'm going to explain the train plan as we go on throughout the day, but the plan is to go from Gaul straight to Scarborough, have a look around Scarborough and then you look at some stations along the way back so for example Bridlington and Hull our first train is going to be the 0639 Northern Service to Scarborough running at Saltmarsh, Gilbertdyke, Broomfleet, Brough, Ferriby, Hessel, Hull, Cottingham, Beverley, Hutton Cranswick Driffield, Nafferton, Bridlington, Bempton, Humbunby, Bailey, Seema and Scarborough. We're doing it to Scarborough at 0847. Here yeah, we're just going over the river now. Uh, so when we get to Scarborough, we'll have a look around Scarborough for a bit. They're not sure which train we're going to catch to Bridlington. And we'll have a look around Bridlington as well. And we'll catch a train to Hull, and then from Hull we'll catch a train back to Gaul. Now, something interesting about this 0639 service that we're catching, this is this is what this train actually stops at Saltmarsh, which is one of the few trains that stopped there because we did Saltmarsh in the last series of Travel Jack's Journeys. That said, there was about seven trains that stopped. This is one of them. But also, this one's calling up Broomfleet as well. Which there's not many of those trains to stop at Broomfleet. I think this is the only Scarborough train that stops at Broomfleet, which is quite interesting. Sit back and enjoy this travel, Jack Shinnies. I shall film the train arriving into Gore Station on the next link. Also on this journey, Alex Dodds is joining us. Hello, Alex, and possibly Ricky Norris is joining us. Hello, Ricky, if you're watching this. I'll, I'll post a link to all their channels when we see them. Sit back and enjoy this journey on the Yorkshire coastline at winter. Here comes one train, this is the 0638 Northern Search to Scarborough via Hull. It's formed with six coaches, this train divides on arrival at Hull. This is 17478 operating the 0638 Northern Service to Scarborough High Hull. Uh, I had to check with the government to make sure this part was going through to Scarborough because it's got two 170s. So the one on the back is going to come off it in Hull.
There's a fault on 174.78, so we're having to change on to 170. 456. But the good news about this one, this has got declassified first class seats on it. There we are. which means we can travel to Scarborough in declassified first class so when these were Scott Rail trains these used to have first class and this is the old first class compartment on the train yeah so there, there was a fault on that train I believe there was a fault with the buzzer system never mind right, so what's going on at the moment we are currently up that hole there was a fault on 174.78 and 174.56 was on the back so what they've done, 174.78 has come off that hole and I've jumped on to 174.56 and that's going to be going through to Scarborough now and 174.78 I think it's going to Bridlington but never mind but this one's got extra class seats. It's not too bad. As we are a couple of minutes down at the moment, so we might get to Scarborough a couple of minutes late, but we'll make the time back. So I'll do a little filming once we leave. Hop. Oh. outside Beverly uh, because we're winning late we're having to wait for a train in front now that's the 753 whole train service to London King's Cross that starts at Beverly and we were meant to go before him so we should pass him very soon because he's got to come out the platform before we can enter so just on the approach to Beverly it's quite interesting we're going to oh, there it is So that's the one of two trains that whole trains run from Beverly. All the rest start at Hull. It's rather interesting. So we'll continue up the Yorkshire coastline to Scarborough via Bridlington. Thank you. 
てしまうわけよ
Right, we're now for the Bridlington, which I'm going to stop here on the way back. But the reason we don't know whether he's signaling around here at Bridlington, who is coming on platform 5. I think he's now by directional. As usual, we're going on platform 4, so that's rather interesting. So we're going to come back here later and have a look at Bridlington and see what they've done with the upgrade. Well, I think that's the lattice. We're now departing Bridlington, the next stop is Benton.
We're now departing Humlingley. The next stop is Thiley, which is one place I've actually visited before, actually. The previous series of travel junctions. It's a good link to watch. And I said they didn't film it, but not too sure. now because I'm 20 minutes late thanks to Northern 916 we've been joined by Ricky and Alex Happy New Year everyone Happy New Year folks Well how can it be a Happy New Year when this goes out September oh well don't matter Alex's videos up there Ricky's is up there somewhere in the corner yeah we're September. gonna September go yes 
I'll explain after. Right. It's called being prepared. Be prepared. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right, we're going to have a look around the seaside and then go down to Brid later. Bad news is, 174.78 our train to Brid. Hopefully, nothing goes wrong with it. <laughs> Let's go. What's the song? I do uh, like September, Earth, Wind and, Fi uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. September. Yes. Yeah. That's the one. Right, let's go and see the seaside. Right, let's upset Rick, eh? Enviro, 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 Enviro. Yeah, welcome to Enviroville. I think they've had new signs here, actually. Yeah, so this is Enviroville. And we'll go down to Bridlington after. Hopefully 170, 478 behaves itself. Right, it is a bit windy. Morning, watch you expect we're in Scarborough. This is the seafront. We've got one of the arcades down there. Yeah, very nice scenery around here at the moment. Had a ride on that, which is the Victorian tramway, opened in 1841, which is 140 odd years, about the same age as my mom. No, I'm only kidding, mom, you're not that old. Hello, Sue. Right, we're down on the seafront here in Blackpool, not Blackpool, Scarborough. I'll, run, I'll, get some right. I'll be over in a minute. It's 11 02, we're having a look at the seafront. Uh, I should mention the North Bay Railway is running, but we're not going on it today. So we're only running 40 minute service. Never mind, but we'll do the North Bay Railway in the summer and this one can join us. Hey, hello. Just to point out with North Bay Railway, they're only running one locomotive. At the hence, hence, we'll watch, every, watch every 40 minutes today. But they have got a steam engine arriving soon called Big Dave! Hi Dave! Hi Dave! Hi Dave! <laughs> <laughs> Right, we are currently in the harbour here at Scarborough. I was going to say Blackpool, but Blackpool don't have the harbour. Uh, we're going to be catching the 1400 Northern service to Sheffield, which is 174.78. And that bridge, about an hour, then we're going to catch the train down to Hull, which will be 170. Four, five, six again. So we've had two one seven. No, we've got four one seventies and two have been the same. Typical, ain't it? It is. And Jackie was second stop at the Yeah. So I wonder where one seventy four seven five is. Obvious. It's obvious. It's on the Harrogate line. Yeah, it's got to be on Harrogate. Otherwise, we would have seen it. Uh, well, do I'm filming here. We'll say goodbye to Ricky proper when we go to the station anyway. We're going to go and have a spend a few months. We're going to go and spend some money in the arcades. A hi, my hearties! Yeah, we're looking out towards the sea. Over there is Flamborough Head, which is near Bridlington. Well, yeah, that's where we're going to go, is to Bridlington. So. Very nice day. Right, so the next thing, we're going to head up to the station very soon, after we've been in the arcades. Right, it's ten past one. We are going to go and head up the Victorian tramway and go and board our train to the north end of no, high level Scarborough. Then we're going to head down to Brid. It's been a fantastic time here with Ricky. Of course, we'll be catching up with Ricky in the series anyway. Yep. Obviously, if you want to watch Ricks and Dories, link up there in the corner. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. Well, it's Alex's idea as well, actually. Yep. So we'll see you on the... well I might do a bit for filming on that. Right, we are in Scarborough Town Centre, so we're just walking up to the station. We're going to be catching the 1400 Northern service to Sheffield, taking that train as far as Bridlington. Ricky, what's the calling points please? As far as Bridlington or yeah. Hull, Jack? Uh, do the whole lot to Sheffield. Okay, here we go. 
Seema, Farley, Hummerby, Bampton, Bridlington, Nafferton, Driffield, Beverly, Cottscombe, Hull, Buff, Gold, Doncaster, Redhall, and Sheffield. Yes, we're going to catch that train as far as Bridlington. Don't stop at Nafferton. No, yeah, stopping at Nafferton is not doing Hudson Cranswick. And it is a 148. Well, it should be a 148. Hey. Mm -hmm. Here comes my train, this will form the 1400 Northern service to Sheffield. I almost had a Reaver train as well service. Here it is. Let's call that lovely 158. What's good your speed charging points? What's the, best, what's the best bit? Here. Yeah. Yeah. Here are speed charging points.
currently travelling down the Yorkshire coastline. This is actually one of my trains that comes through Gould. This is our Sheffield to Scarborough service. And this one runs fast from Hull to Doncaster. It does Rough, Gould and then Doncaster. The other one is the Doncaster Hull. No, Hull to Doncaster. We are shortly arriving into Hullenby, where we will enter a single line section. So there's our 170, so that's going to take us to Hull. In fact, we have this so one here. Oscar, we're to Scarborough. To Scarborough. After we finish the driving tip, this will be one hour later. This will be our train that will take us down to Hull.
to Bridlington. Now they've been redoing the, all the signals here at Bridlington. Because we used to have seven or four signals down there. But it's now got the colour light ones. And also platform five has been upgraded so you can do bi-directional. Oh, you can run in both directions on the same line, which is quite nice. This was all upgraded in the October Engineering Works of 2021. Um, yeah, this is platform six. This gets used for your terminating services from Hull. Now, I have known certain late night trains from Sheffield to terminate in platform four. I think they all use platform five now. And the reason they do that is because it's easier for step free access because there's no lifts going on to platform four. So you could say this is a bit like Shrewsbury having platform higher numbers than the actual numbers. You could say that. So here at Bridlington, uh, we are going to be leaving on the 1539 Northern service to Sheffield, calling at Driffield, Hutton, Cranswick, Beverley, Cottingham and Hull. We're due to Hull at 1621. The only station we don't stop at is Arum. Yeah, right, we're now here in Bridlington. Train service is here, it's one hour. They run to going north to Scarborough and going the other way to Sheffield via Hull. You do get additional services as well. It used to be every two hours. I've got an old timetable actually for saying it used to be every two hours, which is rather interesting. I know what I would love to see is whole trains when it's service from here to London. Maybe extend one of the Beverly's. Hello whole trains if you're watching. That'd be a great idea in the summer. Hint, hint, hint. Come on whole trains. So we're now gonna have a look around here at Bridlington. Oh. Right, it's 10 to 3. We're now here at Bridlington. Now, they have got a chip shop that's named after me. It's called Jack's Fish and Chips. Now, unfortunately, last night, because it was a Saturday night when this is being filmed, we're filming this bank holiday Monday, unfortunately, there was a fight. Two fish got battered. Never mind. That was, good. was that a good catch? Yeah, it was a good catch. Now I need to confess, myself and Alex, we have been here before. Because I had fish and chips here, and that set me back about eight quid. Yeah, unfortunately we're not going to go on the sea, on the seafront, because, because the tide's in. Yeah, on the beach, you know what I mean. Yeah, the tide's in. I forgot to check the tide out. In fact, that's the chip shop we went to last time. This is only a quick visit to Bridlington. We'll come back here in the summer. Might take my mum to, Br to Bridlington. Hey mum, if you're watching, fancy coming to Bridlington? If you do, I'll pay your train fare. So this is Bridlington. And I will say, Ricky has got family here in Bridlington as well. Lucky, they are. So hello Ricky's parents, if, you, if you're watching this. As James May would say, oh, oh. hopefully those don't drop. Hey, uh, yes. That way. But last time I was here, I start, it's going that yeah. way. last time I was here, I got absolutely soaked with anything. Yeah. So as James May would say, oh, never mind, because the last time I came here, I didn't film it, but I got absolutely soaked as anything. Wasn't a clever idea doing Bridlington in December. Never mind. Um, we're going to have a little walk through the town, then we're going to head up to the station. 
done a little short visit here at Bridlington. Obviously, we are going to come back here in the summer, unless Bridlington's already gone out. Don't matter. The locals would call this Brid, actually. Right, it's 20 past three. We're just walking to the train station. I haven't done much filming here, but Mom, if you're watching this, Costa Coffee is here. Well, you probably know that anyway. The reason I didn't do much filming because I was on the phone to the producer of the show just to make sure the trains were all running on time. Thank you, Britain. Thank you to the producer. Right, we've got 10 minutes to spare before our train to Hull. I'm just going to go and use some of the station's facilities here at Hull. And then we'll go and board our train to Hull. Here comes our train. 15. 39, Northern Service to Sheffield, taking this train as far as Hull. And it's 17456 again. And guess what? I'm travelling first class again. So for me, let's do first class to Hull. This is 170 456 operating the 1539 Northern Sicily, Sheffield, taking this train as far as Hull, calling at Driffield, Hutton, Cranswick, Beverly, Cottingham, and Hull. And yes, it is 170 456 again, which means we're going to travel all in declassified first class on this train. Now this is Don Seat's first time on a 170 on the Yorkshire coastline. And he's sitting with me in declassified first class. Because every time I get one of these, this is where I sit in the single seat as well. I, I like these declassified 170s. Hello Northern. Also, this is the same train we caught to Scarborough this morning when it was dark and I was in the other part of the train in declassified first class as well. signaling project above Bridlington in October 2021. This is where our trains were terminated at, Driffield. Yeah. 
and that was replaced with Buster Tom to Scarborough. So we're now arriving into Driftfield. They do a lot of drifting down here, don't they? Very drifty indeed. Yes. There is a ticket machine there. A new one. Therefore. We're now departing Driftfield. So the next stop is Hutton Cranswick. At the moment, Hudson Cranswick is currently having a two hourly service. Because basically, if you don't stop at Nathleton, you stop at Hudson Cranswick. If you don't stop at Hudson Cranswick, you stop at Nathleton, if that makes any sense. Basically, you do one or the other. There are some, some trains that do both. Right, we're coming into Hutton Cranswick soon. It's got a short platform, so only the front two carriages will fit on. Now, the producer of the show will be watching this. I put on my little chat I have with my, fr my friends. My train to Bridge North. Since when Bridlington is Bridge North, that's predictive text for you. It, it put Bridge North. But luckily my friends know it was Bridlington. Predictive text. We're now departing Hutton Cranswick. The next stop is Beverly. Now we are going to pass through to Arrow. And that is the least used station on the line. I'm not sure how many trains stop there. I'm sure Mr Ricky will comment on that one. So our next stop will be Beverly. Technically. Now riding into Beverly. Which is 
Sunny Sisney, back with the faithful. Just a couple of stops away after this. It's, uh, Just passing Whole Royal Infirmary Hospital. We'll shortly be arriving at Hull where we alight in the train. However, to Hull, this train continues to Broth, Gould, Doncaster, Meadow Hall, and Sheffield. <laughs> There's one seventy four seven eight.
height it is 16.22 we've now made it into hull and they say it's never dull but, but they say it's never still and look at the sky it is well we'll see yeah. that in a bit if i'm honest this is this is a very dark and dingy station i don't think i'd want to do a late night here sorry but i've seen we've, we've i've seen 174 seven eight so this station is operated by Trans Pennine Express. You also get your whole train services here as well. So we're going to do a little bit of train spotting here at Pole. Right, we've signed in. That's the first time I've ever signed in here at Hull actually. Uh, we're going to watch a few trains here. The culprit, 174.78 behind this one fight. Oh. Now that should have that should have been our train that we had at Chef Scarborough. Now, interestingly, there are some trains during, including the Hull trains. Over there is Hull Interchange. They actually call it Hull Paragon. East Yorkshire do run buses out of there and Stagecoach. They also run the X5 that goes from here to Goole. Obviously it's quicker to get the train and more regularly and the train runs on bank holidays, which the buses don't. Over there, I think that's Royal Infirmary Hospital. Yeah, so we're gonna watch some trains here for about an hour. Be, be interested to see what that whole train is. Now over there is one of the East Rider, more oh, cameras going strange, Rider branded buses. That'll do the X46 to York, via Market Wheaton, and Pockington as well. Here comes one of my favourite trains, an 802. This is coming in from London King's Cross. This one is 802, oh typical 303. The only one I haven't had on a London. I do like the live around whole trains I do. My train out of here is the 1950 Northern Series to Doncaster, which stops at for at Gull, that calls at Hessel, Berryby, Brough, Gilbertike, and Gull. Now currently it is showing as a 150. Whereas my train, <clears throat> yes, don't rub it in. Is currently path to be a 158. Yes, don't rub it in. Come on, Northern, swap the 150 and give me give me a 158. That service says. <laughs> yes, hopefully that one fight. Hi Norvin, if you're watching this. That's the one. Right. Here comes the Trans Pennine. Now you, your train services here from Hull, you get services going to Halifax or Bradford but from, that's operated by Northern. Trans Pennine run an hourly service to Manchester, Piccadilly via Leeds. Northern operate an hourly service to Doncaster via Gull. They also operate an hourly service to Sheffield via Doncaster. Trains going the other way, they operate an hourly service to Scarborough. They also operate a service from Oh god, I remember where it's yeah. in a minute. <coughs> oh, it's gone out of my mind. Ah, yeah, from Hull to York. Hull trains operate trains from here to London King's Cross. Should mention LNER also run a service. I personally won't see it. Alex will probably see it later. Right, now, 
Holt, no, LNER do run the Class 801 through here, the five car ones. And people are saying, oh, the five car ones can't come to Hulk, it's not electrified. Yes, it is, because I've seen it through Ghoul. So, yes, a five car 801 has been through here, because I've seen it through Ghoul on a Saturday night, which is rather interesting. Usually, it's got a five car 800 on the back of it as well. Yeah, so LNER, Northern, and Hull Trains operate services out of Hull. And Alex just burped. There goes a 170, that's going to Bridlington, that we'll call it Arrow. It's ten past five here at Hull Paragon. I'm going to end the filming here because to be honest, I'm getting a little bit cold. Um, you can get buses from here to Wivensey on the East Yorkshire 75 and X7, which is a very nice route actually. I've done that before actually. So I'll film our 150 arriving and hopefully it gets swapped. Right, it is five past seven in the evening. We're in Hull and it's completely dead. We've just had our dinner at the Weatherspoons. Had a warm chocolate fudge cake. Mum, well, it was bloody lovely. Mm. Uh, we're gonna 
we're just relaxing now for a bit. Yeah. Um, um, we'll go up to the interchange soon, board my train, which will be the 1955. Go off in service to Doncaster, taking that train as far as Gill. Calling at Hessel, Therapy, Brough, Gilbert Ike, and Gill. Alex will be catching the 2015 service to Wait! Then he'll be getting a Trans Pennine to Chester Street. But at least what I have is a 158. I'd rather have a 158 than over a bloody 150 any day. Never, no, I'll put up with it. Anyway. I was going to say, if it wasn't for my cats being at home on the road, I would have actually got the later train. Yeah. Never mind. So I'll see you back at the interchange, no, whole Paragon, to catch that 150 to go, if it actually runs. The train's been re-platformed, it was meant to go on platform 2, it's not. It says here on platform 7, this is 150.269. This is where we're going to be leaving Alex, he's going to be heading on the 158 to Leeds. Bye bye Alex. Bye bye Jack. Thank you for joining Thanks. us for yet another journey. Yeah, even though that was unplanned, but anyway. Yes. Not sure when this programme goes out. Alex's one will be out before this one goes out anyway. Depends how quick I am. Depends when he wants to edit it. Anyway. Thank you very much. Bye. And we shall see you all again. possibly later on Have in the series. Have a good 2022. Yes, uh, unless this is actually in, in September, then enjoy the rest of the year. So we're going to board this train once it's ready to board. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Bit low. We're now departing Hull. The next stop will be...
We are now departing Gilbertite. The next stop will be the Gould will be alighting the train.
right I am back at Gull, I'm going to do a full review when I get back to my house it, as it'll be a lot more warmer in the house actually than out here. So I'll see you all back at my house very soon. Right, it's time to end this episode of Travel Jack's Journey. So I'm actually doing this bit the week after, after I filmed the journey. Um, we went down to Gaul Station, we boarded the train that had six coaches. 17478 on the front and 17456 on the back. Now, due to short platforms, 17478 was in use and 17456 was locked out of use because of the short platforms at Broomfleet. And I think one of the others, I think it's Salt Marsh, you can only get three carriages on. When we got to, well, it appeared that there was a fault on 17478, and the plan was that 17478 was actually going to go to Scarborough with 17456 coming off to form a service to Bridlington. However, that didn't happen at Hull because what happened at Hull, they decided to <clears throat> to put us all onto 17456 to go up the Yorkshire coastline. So, and the good thing about that one is it had declassified first class seats in it. So I thought we'd jump in that. Now we left <clears throat> Hull running 20 minutes late. There was a few problem, technical glitches on the train. My original plan was to have it SEMA and jump onto a Transpennine service. However, that didn't happen because I was running 20 minutes late. Got to Scarborough and we met up with Alex Dodds, where we joined him actually, and Ricky Nowis. Very nice lads we are. They are. We could you could say we are Team Northern. When we had walked down through Scarborough, very nice it was. Had a ride on the Victorian tramway. And we also had an ice cream on the seaside. You can't go to the seaside without having an ice cream. And then <clears throat> myself and Alex, we continued down to Bridlington. We got an 1400 Northern Service, which turned out to be 148904. Quite a nice ride it was. Thank you to Ricky for filming me leaving Scarborough. I made quite a nice addition. There's our bananas, we had about an hour at Bridlington. Again, that was quite nice. The tide came in, so unfortunately, we couldn't go paddling in the sea. I wouldn't really go paddling in the sea, actually. I might get a bit wet. Then we walked back to Bridlington Station, got 17456 again, which had declassified for his class on it, obviously. So we sat in that. And then we got to Hull, we had about an hour at Hull. Well, a couple of hours in Hull actually. We did an hour straight spotting. <clears throat> and then we went, me and Alex went for a meal. We went to a Weatherspoons and had a nice drink. And then we walked back to Hull Interchange. I jumped on the 1955 Northern Service to call. That was 150.269. I'll be honest, I'd rather have a 158. I'm not, I'm not keen on 150s, if I'm honest. I'd rather have 158s. But at least it got me home alright. And that was that. Uh, that's it for me. I shall see you for the next Travel Jackson News very soon. Until the next one, it's goodbye from me. Don't forget to check out Rick's The Diaries and Dodd's Diaries. Thank you again to Alex Dodds and Ricky Norris for joining me on this show. Bye for now. Yeah.